to the President as Commander-in-Chief of Kenya Defense Forces that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people and Republic of Kenya without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the function entrusted to me, I will at all times and to the best of my ability respect, uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution, people, and Republic of Kenya, and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God. And that is the new Vice Chief of Defense Forces, one Lieutenant General Charles Moreo Kahariri, and he takes the place of Lieutenant General Jonah Maina Mwangi, whose term has come to an end after serving for 42 years in the Kenya Defense Forces. He's just taken the oath of office, and next in line will be the two service commander, one the commander of the Kenya Army, one Lieutenant General David, Kim Major General David Kimayo, uh, who has been promoted to the rank of Lieutenant General. He'll, he'll, uh, of course, uh, Lieutenant General David Kimayo Tarus will replace uh, Lieutenant General Peter Mbogonjiro, whose also term has come to an end after serving for 39 years in the Kenya Defense Forces. The one in your screens is the new commander of the Kenya Navy, one um, Major General Thomas Njoroge Nganga. Lieutenant, Lieutenant General David Kimayo Tarus, commander of Kenya Army. I, David Kimayo Tarus, commander of the Kenya Army, do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and to the President as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people and Republic of Kenya without fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times and to the best of my ability respect, uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution, people, and the Republic of Kenya, and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God. And that is Lieutenant David Kimayo Tarus. Uh, he is the new uh, commander of the Kenya Army. Lieutenant General David 
Kimayetarus replaces Lieutenant General Peter Mbogonjiro, whose term has come to an end after serving for 39 years in the Kenya Defense Forces. Until his appointment as commander of Kenya Army, Lieutenant General David Kimayo Tarus was the deputy army commander. Next in line uh, is the new commander of the Kenya Navy who will come next to take the oath of office. One Major General Thomas Njoroge Nganga who has also been appointed to the position of new commander Kenya Navy until uh, his appointment uh, he was serving as base commander Kenya Navy base in Manda. Major General Thomas Njorogenganga, commander of Kenya Navy. I, Thomas Jerogenganga, commander of the Kenya Navy, do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and to the President as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend, and defend this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty integrity and dignity of the people of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people and Republic of Kenya without any fear, favor, bias, or ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times and to the best of my ability respect, uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution, the people, of the Republic of Kenya and obey law, all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the defense forces. So help me God. And that is uh, Major General Nanga, who's taken the helm at the Kenya Navy. Uh, he replaces uh, Lieutenant General David Kimayo Tarus. And of course, next in line will be uh, Lieutenant General Jimson Longiro, who's been appointed the new Vice Chancellor, National Defense University of Kenya, who's until his appointment as Lieutenant General, he was serving as the commander of Kenya Navy. And of course, according to the Kenya Defense Force,